Welcome to the driver's seat. We're wrapping up a week with this 2023 Genesis G90. This is the flagship sedan for Genesis, which is Hyundai's luxury brand. And under the hood, you have a 3.5 liter turbocharged V6 engine producing 375 horsepower. We're driving the one with the electronic or uh, electric motor supercharger, which takes it up to 409 horsepower. Fuel economy, 1724 for the base model, the one with the supercharger, 16 to 23. And that's pretty much been uh, true to form uh, in our experience. So what they've done with this G90, uh, which is all new for 2023, you now have the grill, headlight, taillight treatment that you saw in the G80 and the GV80. So the design language is starting to carry through to other models. And this is the one that's the most important to them because it's the flagship sedan. Even though it comes at a time when people aren't really buying luxury sedans like they used to, they're buying luxury trucks and luxury SUVs. But Genesis has that covered as well. So our take is that it's a wonderful sedan. We've always liked the, the G90. It was always been kind of the value leader. Now it's no longer the cheapest one in the segment uh, with a starting price of 88 for the base model, 98 for the um, more powerful model. You, um, you, you're higher than Lexus LS, for example. A lot of content, a lot of cool features, but Genesis is still not Lexus. Uh, but overall, very impressed. Uh, all the gadgets, all the technology, the performance, and of course, you've got the, uh, the great Genesis slash Hyundai warranty. So I think they're well on their way. The biggest issue for Genesis right now is a brand, uh, the lack of, a, of proper dealerships. Uh, they've always been kind of dueled or hidden within a Hyundai store, and now they're more and more coming online, and I think that's gonna be the difference maker. You're now inside the G90, and just by pressing the brake pedal, the door will close by itself. Pretty slick. This is the top trim level. There are two options, uh, 3.5 liter, Turbo V6, 375 horsepower, 88,000, that's the base model. And then you have this model, which is an extra $10,000. It goes from 88 to 98,000 base price. Uh, both are all wheel drive. This one gets an additional uh, 34 horsepower, it takes it up to 409. And it's doing that with a supercharger, but it's an electric supercharger, uh, electric motor supercharger. It kind of gives you a, a glimpse into where Genesis and honestly every car company is headed. Uh, Genesis already released their first fully electric model and uh, more to follow. So you're seeing it, electric superchargers, hybrids, that, that, whole, that whole transition throughout the industry is happening. So back to this vehicle, as mentioned, it is a proper full-size luxury sedan. This used to be the status symbol in America and around the world, uh, a full-size luxury sedan because there were no luxury SUVs or luxury pickup trucks. As we know today, uh, those vehicles have dramatically uh, replaced or displaced these kind of vehicles as the prestige symbol for someone who has made it. Uh, in other parts of the world, this is actually used more as a limo. In fact, the rear passenger uh, side seat is very luxurious, has massaging seats, and massaging seats up front as well with this trim level, but you also can control them in the back. And it, this is primarily used almost like a limo. If you were a CEO of a company in Korea, for example, uh, this might be the type of vehicle you would, you would own. And you know, Genesis started off as the Hyundai Genesis and then they separated. And the whole premise of Genesis is that it was the rear wheel drive platform. And even though the G90 is only available in all wheel drive, it just makes sense because you look at where Mercedes and everyone else has gone. No one is, is really offering um, just rear wheel drive anymore. So the, we mentioned the main competitors, S-Class or Mercedes, which really dominated the, you know, the segment. Uh, BMW 7 Series, is, there's a new one coming out we'll be driving shortly. Audi A8, and um, of course the Lexus LS, which is still probably one of my favorites in this segment. But, um, so getting back to this vehicle, uh, I like what they've done. They've come a long way from the first G90 or even the first Hyundai Genesis going back over 10 years ago. And 
it drives nicely. Feels a little bit underpowered for what it is, um, but it's it's not bad. Uh, I feel like the German competitors uh, perform a little bit better, but nobody really buys this as a performance car, as a, as a performance sedan. They're buying this uh, because they want the room and the luxury, and Genesis provides all of that. You have beautiful infotainment, uh, digital gauge cluster, just a perfect steering wheel. You can see the stitching. The, the workmanship in this vehicle is amazing. If you would have said 10, 20 years ago that a Korean car company could do this, uh, I would have laughed. A lot of people would have laughed, but they have come a, a long way. Uh, you even have... Um, this is kind of a neat feature, and you can see here, it's called Mood Curator. And there are four moods, there's Vitality, Delight, Care, and Comfort. And if you click on it and hit Start, everything changes. The shades come down or go up. You have different music. Uh, just It just changes the entire complexity of of the vehicle uh, so just it, it, maybe it's a little gitchy it's even got a uh, sense uh, so there are different scents that will come out and you can see this, this little symbol here but that's kind of the you know the i don't want to say it's gimmicky but it's just something that um hyundai slash genesis wanted to do and uh, because uh, we saw this in an s class years ago with the sense they had these little vials that you could plug in well now genesis has it so you don't have to change them out physically you just once you preload them then then you have the different scents available uh they they just they did a great job every every one of these four seats uh are extremely comfortable and uh give good visibility you have uh the rear the rear uh, axle steer is nice especially uh, when you're parking or trying to get into tight turns, I think they did a, a nice job with that. Not all car companies execute that properly, but uh, Genesis certainly did. But you know, getting back to the fit and finish, just how they they did all the you know, you know the controls, um, it's it's impressive. Uh, I, I'm very impressed with what what Genesis has put together here. And like I said, it kind of it blows my mind a little bit that how far they've come in such a short amount of time. Sadly though, well, they finally got this right. They, they, they nailed it. And at a time when nobody is really interested in full-size luxury sedans, uh, they might sell a couple of thousand of these in the US. Uh, I, think, I think it's a great vehicle. Uh, I think it would make a great uh, you know, used car vehicle, certified pre-owned. I could see somebody leasing this for two or three years and then uh, selling it, you could probably get this uh, on the used car market uh, at a fair price, because these are gonna depreciate much faster than SUVs or, or trucks. So the performance is acceptable. You, you kind of felt that delay, that lag, um, and I think that's as much of a function of the transmission as it is anything else, but uh, you do have paddle shifters so you can Kind of offset that if you want. The the seats are some of the best I've I've been in in a long time, uh, and the Germans take their seats very seriously, and they even have an annual award. And Genesis is one of the first. Uh, it's definitely the first uh, Korean car company to receive that award with uh, some of the Genesis product. So uh, they clearly know what they're doing, and that is a function of the of that. Hyundai slash Genesis hired some of the best German designers and engineers and brought them over to, to work on Kia, Hyundai, and Genesis. And it shows. It started with Peter Schreier, who had a design, and you have now you have Albert Bierman, who, who, who he's, the, he's the father of the M, the BMW M, and he now works uh, with Hyundai. He's, he's doing that whole Hyundai N line. So very impressive with what uh, you know, what the entire corporation has done as a whole 
but especially with this G90. I mean, this is their flagship sedan, and so they, they're going to put all the bells and whistles. They're going to make sure that this is, this has, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's what everybody aspires to as far as sedans. They want the biggest and the best, and that's, and that's what they've delivered here. So um, I think there was a time when if you pulled up to the country club and, you know, one friend has a has an S Class. The other one has a Seven Series. They would look down on this vehicle. Not anymore. Uh, this is an impressive, a very impressive vehicle. The biggest challenge for Genesis right now uh, is that they don't have dedicated dealers yet. And anyone buying a luxury car expects to have a dedicated dealership that understands the luxury car buyer and their expectations. Now, they're slowly bringing these online, and that's great, uh, but it's, it's taking longer than it should. Uh, and, and they have, obviously, a lot to uh, deliver. Uh, luxury car buyers are, spend a lot of money and they have very high expectations. So, the suspension is wonderful. It's an air suspension and uh, just the, everything that you would imagine you, you would want in a luxury sedan, Genesis has delivered. And that impresses me. Um, what impresses me the most? The technology, uh, the massaging seats, some of the best I've, I've experienced. Um, just the, the, the craftsmanship and workmanship and how they put everything together. You could see the, everything from the contrast stitching, the quilted seats, uh, and just each button, just how carefully thought out it is, and how everything just matches. And, you, and you know, the, even though it's plastic, but the, this plating process, uh, they've really nailed it. And even, even this HVAC control, the fact that there's a screen in here, uh, just makes it nice. It's very, very clean. It's a very calming environment. And uh, I like the colors. I like the different textures. It's really, you know, the only thing I would say is that I think Hyundai got a little, Hyundai, I say Hyundai, but Genesis got a little bit ahead of themselves. The only thing I would add is that I think Genesis got a little bit, what's the word? maybe uh, too enthusiastic about this product and priced it possibly um, out of reach for what people expect to pay for a Genesis. Uh, that's just how I feel. I, don't, I just don't know if, if this is going to translate into a lot of sales, but then again, it's a pretty small segment, so I think that's okay. So we've had the vehicle for a week. We've uh, we've put about uh, 400 miles on it. A nice mix of highway and city driving. And as I said, just I think the styling is is beautiful. We've had a lot of thumbs up. It's it definitely stands out. It's nice that they have drawn from the styling cues of their of their uh, of their I guess uh, mainstream sedan, uh, the the G80. The G80 is the first one to incorporate this design language with the grill and headlights and taillights as you see them. And, and now that's trickled down into their SUVs and, and other vehicles. So uh, it, it's, it's nice to see that in their flagship sedan. And it is very distinctive, um, which is important for, for these kind of buyers. It's also very, uh, very prominent. Um, I think more and more people just can see it uh, f from further away, oh, I know what that is, that's a Genesis. And again, that's all credit to the designers. So if you're asking my recommendation on a vehicle in this segment, I say that it's, it's wide open from BMW, Mercedes, Audi on the German side. Of course, you have Lexus and uh, Genesis over here, but uh, you have a, some really good options. And I think this is Maybe not at the top of the list, but definitely a top three. I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Driver's Seat.